Well, welcome YouTube and welcome back to all my Buster Buddies. Hey, it's your big kahuna here, Brad, and this is Brad's Board and Busters, your textile art channel. This is the channel where we have fun with fabric. And on today's episode, we are going to be doing a yin yang shirt. It'll be a little bit different and I'll get into that here a little later. But first I want to make a mention. I want to remind all my viewers about my giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers and boy, we're almost there. We're four subscribers away. At the filming of this video, I'm at 996. And so, hey, my beautiful subscribers, help me out, share my channel around so we can hit that thousand subscriber mark and then we will do the giveaway. More than likely, the next video, I'll be announcing the giveaway and explaining how we're going to do it. Before we get over to the table and start on our project, I also want to thank a few individuals for really helping me get to where I am now as far as subscribership. First and foremost, I want to really thank Stephanie from Belladonna Dyes. It really helped when we did our collaboration and she sent me some dyes. And so that really helped boost my subscribership. So I really appreciate her viewers coming over to my channel and, and viewing me as well. And then a few honorable mentions as far as individuals that have always really given me great moral support in my projects. I first like to thank Scott and then Crystal and Greg. So thank you all very much for helping me get to where I am today and we will still continue growing this channel and doing some great projects. And I'd like to thank all you subscribers as well for following me along on this journey. All right, well, let's get into today's project. Like I say, today's project is going to be a yin yang shirt. This is a pattern that I saw on Raya's tie dye. She's a great tie dyer and she comes up with great ideas. I thought this was pretty cool and I thought I'd like to try it. I'm going to do it with a little bit of twist on the colors that she used, but it is a pretty simple pattern. If you're familiar with a yin yang, you know it's usually a kind of an S shape through the center and it's black and white on opposite sides, but then the black will have a white dot and the white will have a black dot. Well, instead of the dots, like I've done in the past on say my black rainbow yin yang shirts, Raya did for her dots two little swirls and then colored them in opposing fashions to match how the yin yang looks. You'll see when we get into it. And uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing. It'll be a yin yang with spiral dots. All right, so what you're gonna need for this project is a 100% cotton t-shirt. You need to pre-wash that first. Soak it in soda ash water for a minimum of 20 minutes and then take that out and put it in your washer and spin out all the excess moisture. And then that makes it ready for our tie up. The other things you're gonna need for this project will be sinew, a washable marker, uh, you're going to need a string to attach to the washable marker to help create the S shape for the yin yang. Uh, you'll also need a hemostat to help uh, make the swirls. And then when we tie it up, we'll probably use rubber bands, but you can also use kite string if you want to. All right, that should be about everything I think we're going to need for this project. I'll go over the colors when we start applying them. All right. Oh. One other thing, yes, uh, this shirt is going to get an overwash of new black and also deep purple. Instead of just spreading the liquid dye on uh, out of the bottle, we're actually going to put it in a little glass jar and then apply the dye modestly with foam brushes. And so you'll need uh, a wide foam brush. Okay, let's get over to the table and let's get this thing folded up. Okay, Busters, here we are at the table. Like I say, I've got my shirt all prepped. It's been pre-washed, soaked in soda ash, spun out, so it's just slightly damp, and I have it turned inside out, and that's the way you would want to do this pattern. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the intro as far as tools, 
Uh, you, it also would help to have a yardstick to, uh, to lay out your pattern on this one. So what I'm going to demonstrate, uh, I'm going to center the shirt, make a mark at the collar, a uh, mark here at the bottom. So we have the center line, and then I'll open up the shirt, lay it flat again. Then I'll fold it in half, uh, push on the shirt so it creases the fabric. And I'll make a mark with the washable marker there. I'll fold the bottom up to the center, make a mark down here, fold the collar down to the center, and make a mark up here for our dots. And then we'll take the yardstick and just make marks on where the two dots go so we have those right in the center. And then we'll take the string, attach it to the washable marker, uh, use the center mark as your pivot point. We'll draw a radius going this way and then another radius going that way. And then we'll fold on that radius and tie that off with sinew. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's get started. All right, Busters, now at this point, you want to cinch up your sinew pretty tight. I mean, we're trying for some white spaces to define between the two different colors, either side of the yin-yang, but you don't want to pull it so tight that it actually ends up bunching up in the center. That is a definite possible if you just do it too hard. So you want to pull it hard, but you also need to push down hard to keep it flat. All right, so that's our sinew. So next we are going to do our little spirals here and the yin yang points. Let me get my hemostat and we'll do that next. All right, got my hemostat. So like I say you just need to make a small spiral on both sides. And so just use our mark as a reference.
buster. So there's our yin yang. So that's how we tie that up. And so now we'll dye it and let me get all my dyes set up. We're going to dye that at the table here today. So bear with me and we'll be back here in a second. Okay, Buster, so I'm all set up to uh, apply the dye. So at this point, you have to decide, because we're doing hot and cold kind of colors for our yin-yang, do you want the main part of the yin-yang on the top to be, you know, the cool colors or the hot colors, and you want the bottom, you know, so you have to decide that, because then, say, if I'm making this cool, then in my spiral I'm going to put my warm colors and vice versa here. So this will be warm and I'll do cool colors around the dot here. And so that's probably how I'm going to apply it, I think. Yeah. Anyway, so I have got my dye. If you have small bottles with fine tips, I've got these plastic ones. I need to invest in some of those with the metal uh, little needle nozzles. Uh, I really need to get those, but these work pretty well too. But that's what you're going to want for, well, really the whole thing. And you'll see why when I start applying the dye, but especially around the little spiral, you don't want to apply too much dye at one time. All right. You can watch along, enjoy the music. Ooh, <laughs> I almost screwed up. I said I was going to do warm here and cool here, so that means I need my warm on the spiral. Oh, that dumb me, getting old here. I almost forgot to uh, go over our colors for this project. Uh, and I'll flash them on the screen as I'm applying them. But let me uh, start with uh, the cool colors. We'll work all the way through. So we'll be working with lavender, uh, electric blue, uh, robin's egg blue, Chinese red, uh, orange sorbet, bright yellow, deep purple for one of the washes, and new black for the other wash. Okay, now we can continue.
Okay, Buster, so that's the die. You can see I had a little bit of a boo-boo here. Yeah, the die squirted out of the bottle as I was tipping it down. That happens sometimes, but we can kind of hide that now because now we're going to do our overcoating on both sides. And so this side is going to get black and this side will get deep purple. And so we can do that, and that's what the foam brushes are gonna be for. So I've got one for each color. And let's get that in here. And so like I say, because I kind of did that, I'll just concentrate on making sure I get a good amount of black over that. And hopefully it hides then when we end up doing our washout. All right, so like I said, this is new black and this is deep purple. One of the main reasons to overwash your shirts, because you certainly could have stopped before this step and had a perfectly nice shirt as well, but it adds what, at least what I call texture to the shirt. So it's not just solid colors, it kind of breaks it up. So but adding it with the foam brush, you can kind of control how much goes down so you're not oversaturating it to obliterate the colors below it. Okay, Busters, that is it. So this will go in my curing tub for 24 hours. Then after that, we will take it out, do a rinse out. So I'll start with cold water to rinse out the soda ash, and then we'll turn it up to hot to get out the excess dye that hasn't bonded with the shirt yet. And then after that, it'll go in the laundry with detergent and Curalon, which is a professional textile detergent, which you can get from Dharma Trading Company. And it'll be washed on hot, and that'll help remove any more loose dye. And then it'll go in the dryer, and then we'll bring it back here and we'll do a reveal. All right, we'll see you then. Okay, Buster Buddies, hey, here it is, finished. It came out perfect. I am so happy with the results here. So I did the deep purple and then the black down below. And yeah, I love the way this came out. Yeah, hey, um, go check out her shirt on her channel and then come back and give me a comment. Tell me which one you like better. Do you like her version or my version? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, art is very subjective and so you know, it doesn't matter which one you think is better. Uh, when you make yours, you apply the color the way you like it. Anyway, um, hey, if you like it, give me a thumbs up on this one. Yeah, colors came out great. The little spiral dots came out good. So give this one a try. It's fun. It's, it's not that hard to do. Anyway, hey, um, before you leave my channel, uh, I am going to do a special sign-off. I've got a little bit of a message to give you, so stick with me. All right, I'll see you at my desk in a few seconds. 
Okay, Buster Buddies. Hey, we're back here at my desk. And hey, I hope you like that shirt. I thought it came out really nice. So hey, I wanted to talk to you all about uh, upcoming uh, events here. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we are just that close to hitting a thousand subscribers. So please share my channel around. And if you're watching and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And then you can also possibly be a part of our giveaway. Yes, I am still doing a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers and it'll be either a tie-dye shirt, a bleach painted shirt, or a tapestry. Viewer's choice. So when the next video comes out, I'll explain how the giveaway is going to work. Also, if you really like my channel, I'd really appreciate you helping me out by going to buy me a coffee. Yes, go to my buy me a coffee page. The link is in the description below and help support my channel by buying me a coffee. That really would help me out a lot. I really appreciate that and I really appreciate all you viewers. I know I thank some special individuals in the beginning of this video, but it's you subscribers. You're the ones that are help push this channel along and getting me to my goal. And that I really appreciate. I love all of you. So keep watching. And our next video will be a giveaway and a new tie-dye shirt. So until that time, hey, peace out, baby. I love you all and go bust out some art.